Hey guys, so it's no secret that purchasing cosmetics can be a daunting, demoralizing, and sometimes even dangerous task. Not only must you be able to brave a bewildering onslaught of sights and smells and limited time only free gift with purchase offers, but also guard against the pitfalls of deceptive lighting, too good to be true product claims, and bacteria infested testers. So, when even the most seasoned shopper struggles with the complexities of the modern-day cosmetics department, what's an average, everyday, ordinary consumer like you to do, you ask yourself? Well, fret no more, because I'm here to help. I have spent literally seconds of minutes creating this simple, yet complex, surprisingly effective, but also generalizing and oftentimes racist guide to navigating the intricate web of complexity that is your local cosmetics department. The first and most important step in navigating any cosmetics department is knowing where you are when you're there. To a newcomer this may be difficult, so here's an easy to follow what to look for list when you're talking to a salesperson and you're not sure which counter you might be at. The first step is Clinique, and there's actually a reason for this. The Clinique counter is the easiest of the bunch to spot in any makeup department. Your Clinique counter will be easily recognizable by a flurry of scientists and lab coats that are all swarming around inventing things with their fancy name badges and rolls of self-esteem destroying clear tape. Uh, word to the wise, the tape is a secret weapon of theirs. Avoid it at all costs. Now, much harder to spot than the Clinique counter is the Benefit counter. At Benefit, you're going to be on the lookout for younger girls who are generally pretty, but also kind of dizzy. These are the kind of girls who say like a lot when they speak, and they may even offer to do jello shots with you while they're on their break. In short, Benefit girls are pretty cool. If all that fails, though, and you're still not sure where you are, try taking a look down at the packaging. You know you're at Benefit when you see lots of vintage looking packaging that does absolutely f all except look kind of cute. Next up is Estee Lauder. Now, Estee Lauder is a brand that I consider to be for a serious, oftentimes more mature shopper. While you're there, you're going to be on the lookout for. Or, no, I don't have the right. I want to get. Skip it, skip it. We'll, we'll skip this one. We'll go to the. Mac. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. You're looking for drag queens. Your Mac counter is almost as easily recognizable as, say, your Clinique counter, except you're looking for drag queens. Mac's also a fashion brand, though, which means they're at the cutting edge of, of fashion and cosmetics. They'll often have limited edition collections that are available for a limited time that feature products that you've never used before or products that you already love in colors that you've never seen before. These collections are often teamed with a particular theme or sometimes even a holiday. But you're still looking for drag queens. That's right, pronunciation. It is really important to know how to properly pronounce things when you're in a cosmetics department. It's kind of the key to not getting laughed out of the building. And with so many companies wandering around toting fancy names like bare eschentuals, it's easy to get confused. I'm going to start you off with a simple one though. We're going to try Guerlain. Now instead of saying Guerlain like everybody else would, and that's not how they say it, Try saying it with an actual Parisian accent. Try it with me now. Gerlain. I'll do it again. I know it's a little confusing. We'll try it again slowly. Gerlain. Now, to be helpful, because I am that kind of guy, I've written down a sentence here that sort of illustrates how you would use this in everyday casual speak in a cosmetics department. <clears throat> I have a hot date tonight. So I think I'll wear my Guerlain perfume with my Versace dress and my Hermes scarf. 
I can't stress enough how important it is to have the proper pronunciation when you're in a cosmetics department. And trust me, once you start throwing around a couple Gerlanes and Lancomes, people will be thinking you're Catherine Danoob herself in no time. Well, that's it. I hope you find this helpful the next time you're trying to fix your face. Get out there and do some shopping. Take care. I will see you soon. And please remember, drive safe. Thank <laughs> you.